Hey Siri. Open the frunk. Just a moment. Done. I open the front trunk. Hey Siri. Open the trunk. Just a moment. Done. I open the trunk. What's up you guys, hope you're doing well. I'm Evan, as you just saw, I opened the frunk and the trunk using the Siri voice assistant in my iPhone. Not only can you control the frunk and the trunk, but also your heated seats, your AC unit, your sentry mode. So I'm gonna show you the app I use, and then we're gonna show you the ins and outs of the Siri uh, voice assistant with iPhone. All right guys, the first thing you wanna do is go to your app store and type in stats. And it looks just like this. It shows you everything from the amount of current charge you're getting, the estimated range, you can schedule charge times, and of course my most important thing right here is the Siri integration apps. It'll show you efficiency, how you compare to other Model 3 owners, put it all on charts. So just overall, very wonderful app here. So I'm going to open it up. So here's the current state of my Model 3. And once you get to this main screen, you're going to hit this little gear. And then it, once this gear is opened, you're going to go to Siri Shortcuts under Tools. And now you can see we have an array of voice activation uh, choices here. So some of the main ones I have here are my climate seat heaters. You can say, let's set to 70 degrees, and we'll put my driver's side seat to 2. And it's going to tell you to add it to series. So you can tell it to say, make it cool or make it hot. And it's going to set it to the temperature I adjusted it to. So I already have this added to the app. So I'm just, if you wanted to, you can add to Siri. I'm just going to cancel for this scenario. Moving on down, the main ones, the open the trunk. You can again adjust this to whatever you want it to say. You can say open trunk and not open the trunk and you hit add to Siri and it'll save it automatically. And once I add all of the Siri voice activation shortcuts, I can go to an app called My Shortcuts, which is now owned by Apple. And you can see all the choices you've added to Siri <clears throat> of course now I just opened the trunk in my car by accident but it'll show you everything we just added if you wanted to actually delete one of these options here you would hit edit check the box and hit this trash can up here in the top right so once you've added all your shortcuts and you see them in the my shortcuts app that's it it's all completed so now we're gonna give it a test run and let's go to the car all right guys, we're in the Model 3 here. and Let's test out some of our Siri shortcuts here. Make it hot. One moment, that's done. I set Charles's temperature to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can see here now it's at 70 and I actually turned on my seat heaters to two. Let's try to make it cool. Make it cool. That's done. I set Charles's temperature to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we're set at 68. Open the frunk. Done. I open the front trunk. Cool. Open the trunk. Done. I open the trunk. Nice. Start charging. Done. Stat says started charging. Awesome. And finally, charge port. That's done. Stat says, I opened the charge port and unlocked it. Thank you. So in closing guys, I hope you learned something with the Tesla and Siri integration. Uh, the Stats app does cost, I believe, 19 to $20, but in my opinion, it is well worth it. Um, it is a shame though that Tesla does not have this integrated already into their own app. Maybe in the near future, fingers crossed, they do add this. But overall, this third party app does work very, very well. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe as usual. It greatly helps me out. Thanks again. Have a good one.